It's freight cars on a budget as we take a look at the Walters Trainline insulated box car and gondola cars right now. Alright guys, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, two freight cars in this video. We've got this uh, Conrail Insulated Boxcar uh, right here on the left. And on the right we have a uh, Denver and Rio Grande Western uh, Gondola car here. Both of these are Waller's Trainline models. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get started with the box. Of course, you know, it's the same for both. Uh, cars are in a nice, very sturdy uh, box here with... Uh, with the, uh, each model resting in a uh, cradle with a uh, cover. Should protect the models very nicely in storage and transport. Uh, very solid packaging. Uh, nice bright lettering uh, right here on this. Uh, kind of a simpler uh, style box for these cars. But uh, uh, very nicely uh, packaged. So um, with that being said... Um, Let's go ahead and get each one of these uh, models out. We'll start with the uh, gondola car first. Um, and we'll uh, examine each one of these models. So hang on just a second. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. We're uh, Like I said, we're starting with the Denver Rio Grande uh, Western gondola car. Um, being that these are the uh, lower tier train line models... Um, uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of separately applied details to these cars. Uh, that's so they can keep the prices down as low as possible. Um, depending on where you buy these cars at, they can range anywhere from $20 to $25. Uh, you might be able to even catch them on sale and get them for less than that. Uh, it's at certain uh, online stores. So uh, it pays to shop around. Uh, this car here I got at Hobbytown USA for about $24. Bucks. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, if you shop around, uh, prices will vary. So, uh, let's just go ahead and get started looking at this guy here. Um, again, with this car, looks, uh, just like all Waller stuff, very nicely done with the paint and lettering on this car. You can see everything's nice and readable right here on this car. Uh, now, unlike the main line and the proto models, they do not come with a metal coupler. They instead come with these plastic uh, Bachman style couplers. So, um, just as a side note, uh, if you want to upgrade the performance on these cars, probably a good idea to switch them over to KDs or uh, some type of metal coupler that performs good. So, uh, just FYI there, but other than that looks very very good. Even the molded in details look very nice on this car here um, You can see the letters very nicely molded in uh, a lot of the body details are very nicely done again Printing is very nicely done on this car as well. You can see the metal wheels right there uh, You got your stirrup step right there come down along the side of this car here looks very very nice large DNR GW uh, lettering and the numbers and all the uh, data labeling on there looks very nice. Of course, you got your flying Rio Grand logo right there with the Action Road uh, logo. Looks very, very nice. Again, everything's very nicely done. Readable paint is very nice and evenly applied. We'll come around to this end right here, and it's kind of sitting on the box, so it's kind of sliding around. But um, there's your brake wheel right there. Your uh, either Bachman or lower tier um, Walder's coupler right there. So all that looks very nice and solid right there. We need to come down this side right here and take a look at the other side. It's pretty much the same story, second verse. Everything looks very nicely done on this car. So yeah, really nice. We'll just uh, tip the car over on top. Not a whole lot to speak of right there as far as any extra detailing. It's pretty plain Jane. Underside, same thing. You got your uh, brake details right there, but no piping. Um, again, keeps the cost low. Uh, sort of like a Acurel or a Roundhouse kit. Um, 
So, yeah. So, very, very nice right there for these cars. Uh, very, very solid car if you're uh, looking to add uh, cars on the cheap a little bit, make up a train. So, uh, with that being said, I'll take a look at this car. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the box car next? So, hang on just a second. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. We're going to take a look, quick look at this uh, Conrail Insulated box car. Uh, believe it or not, one of the few Conrail cars I own um, in my fleet. So, uh, so yeah. So this is something kind of rare that you don't see much on the channel. You don't uh, see a lot of Conrail stuff. But anyway, uh, just to kind of get started. Much like the Gondola, not a whole lot of separately applied details on these cars. Again, keep the price low. Aiming at younger model modelers uh, and such. So, uh, but other than that, what it is here is very nice. Again, nice printing lab labeling on the car. All the data decals look good. The Conrail quality logo is very nicely applied. Conrail initials, road number, large uh, can opener logo right here on this end with Conrail spelled out above it. Again, your data markings right here on here look very good. Uh, again, molded in ladders right here on the side you can see some of the brake details underneath the car there got some stirrup steps right here looks very good molded in door again no sliding door which oddly enough uh, is a little bit rare to see on these cars so uh, that all looks good so uh Come down the end of this car here. Got your uh, trucks with the metal wheels. Again, looks very good. Come to the B end right here. Uh, you got your, uh, again, budget line coupler right here, uh, which is kind of more like an early Bachman Easy Mate or some type of lower tier Waller's car. So, again, if you want to upgrade the performance, trade them out for KDs or some type of metal coupler. There's your uh, brake wheel right there. Again, molded in layers right here on the end. Looks very nice. Uh, the molded uh, detail on the end of the car here looks very good. So we'll come around here to the other end. Right here. Again, same story, second verse. Uh, printing leveling is very nicely done. There's a look at the truck right there underneath the car. Rivet details look very good on this car. Uh, there's your data markings on the door and underneath the uh, road number right here. And again, your Conrail logo and lettering spelled out and more de data decals on here with a stirrup step. There's the other truck. So uh, just quick look at the top of this car again looks pretty good nicely uh nicely done right there on the uh, top very solid looking car flip it over much like the gondola got your brake details no piping though again budget friendly car keep it more durable less stuff to break off you get the whole uh drift there so but anyway uh these two cars right here um, if you want to build a train up very quickly for not a lot of money, uh, these may be the way to go, especially if you got younger modelers that want to build up a train, uh, and you don't want to have to worry about them breaking stuff off. Um, uh, these cars may fit the bill very nicely for you. Again, like I said, if you're a highly detailed person, these cars probably are not for you, but, you know, uh, like I said, they're aimed at younger modelers and those are on a much tighter budget, so... Um, and again, if you shop around, you can't find these cheaper. Um, so yeah. So, all right, guys, I'll take a look at the review on these two cars. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will catch you in the next video. Take care all. Bye for now.